Hi everyone, I'm hopeful that all you will be fine. In the last session, we have learned how you can actually get the recording analytic details using the Zoom Cloud REST APIs. Okay, in today's session, we will learn how you can actually get the Zoom Cloud recordings using the REST API. Okay, so for that, we first need to create a relative path endpoint helper inside the Zoom constant. So here we need to create recordings and we need to pass the meeting ID because meeting ID is a required parameter. And we need to use the string interpolation. Here we need to call the API base recording base API. We need to pass the meeting ID and we need to append recordings. Okay. It was a semicolon. We need to export that first. So we say recordings. Okay. Need to format the code. And inside the Zoom recording helper, first need to import that. So I would say recordings. Okay. At the bottom, we need to create a helper for that. So we say const recordings. Okay. Either we can say cloud recordings, cloud recordings, and we say async. We need to pass the meeting ID and filter. Okay. And then we need to define the helper definition. Okay. But before that, meeting ID inside the meeting ID parameter, you can pass the meeting number. That will be an integer long number. Either you can pass UUID. If you are uh, going to pass the UUID, then you need to double encode that. You can see here, I have already double encoded. Okay. So here is a double encoded on a recording base API. So you must be need to double encode. Okay. Because maybe UUID contains a slash or double slash on that UUID grid. And this recording API requires recording read. Either you have a recording read admin scope. So any one is go from this set you have, then you will be able to access the cloud recordings. Okay. And this API have a light rate limit. That means you can send 30 requests per second if you have a pro plan. Okay. And if you have a business plus, then you can send 80 requests per second. Okay. And if you exceed that limit, then you will get a 429 HTTP response error. Okay. Inside the filter, you can pass include fields parameter. Okay. So inside the include fields, you can say the download access token. Okay. Download access token field. That means if you are uh, interested that in the response, you will be have a download access token, then you need to set the include fields and pass the value download access token. Okay. And if you have uh, included the download access token, then you can also pass TTL time to live either download access token expiry. Okay. So inside that you can only set uh, max to seven days. Okay. And the time will be in seconds. So for the seven days, it will be six zero four at double zero seconds. Okay. By default, if you are only setting include fields as a download token and you are not setting this TTL, then the token expiry will be a 30 minute long. Okay. I will show you that time expiry uh, later in the session. Now, just let's start with the Axios request. So we say const data, we need to set await, and then we need to build the Axios. So here we say URL, and we build the URL from the recording helper. So we say recording. And here we need to pass the meeting ID and then we need to build the filter as a query parameter. Okay. So we use QS query string package and we call QS dot stringify. Okay. And then we need to pass the filter object. And then we need to set the method and method will be gate. We need to set the header and header will be authorization header. Inside that we need to pass the better token. Okay. Inside the better token, we get the better token from process env dot access token. Okay. And then we need to bind then response response. I think we need to define. So we say return response. And we need to bind the cage. Okay. So if there is any error, then we will also see that error. Okay. Error. And here we say return. If data dot error, then return data dot error dot data okay and if not then we just say something went wrong and place a semicolon at the end need to return the data 
need to format the code and we need to export that helper so we say cloud recordings inside the recording api we first need to import that helper so you will say cloud recordings at the bottom we need to create an endpoint ape.get api slash zoom recordings okay slash meeting id okay and then we need to bind the request handler so we say here request response and we need to call the helper so we say let cloud recordings cloud recordings result and we say await cloud recording and we need to pass the meeting id from param so we say request params dot meeting id and we for the query we need to pass the request dot query okay need to place the semicolon need to return the response dot json cloud recording i think we have some type of mistake so here's a cloud recording result okay semicolon here must be a semicolon format the code and then now we need to start the api so we say npm start okay and now we navigate to the browser and here we first need to authorize so we say localhost port 4000 slash api slash zoom slash authorize we are successfully authorized okay now we need to request the endpoint so it is a port 4000 slash api slash zoom slash recordings and we need to remove this analytics before that we need to place the breakpoints so we can see if there is any error or we are getting response okay so we need to now hit enter and we are in the response we have got response status okay inside the data we have a meeting now i think we need to respond back to the browser here you can see you do not have any download token in the in the payload okay so you can see you do not have any download token if you are interested to download the recordings recording files in every file you have i think i must be uh, open the postman and where from we can get the payload and i will show you a few things okay so here inside the zoom api we need to add the request get loud recordings okay say http and we need to say localhost port 4000 and we need to call zoom recording we need to pass the meeting id we will get the meeting id from here okay insert it here we need to remove this breakpoint continue and now navigate here okay so here you can see you have a recording files collection inside that you have a recording files okay so there are different type of files you have as per your meeting okay so inside this payload you can see you do not have any download access token in, in this payload okay you have a download url inside that recording file you can see you have a download url and you have a play url here you can see here is a download url here is a play url so if you are going to uh, requesting this download url to access the file or download the file from the zoom cloud then you must be need to pass the access token or i i, I say you must be need to append a access token in this endpoint okay how you can add you just copy this you just navigate to this endpoint and at the end you need to set the access token okay access token as a parameter and then you need to set the token okay here you can set the token either you can set jwt token if you have a jwt app either you can set oauth app token as we are already using the oauth access token you can also set that and you can also set the download access token okay download access token and the download to access token will be in this payload if you have a set query parameters called include fields include fields and at the bottom okay okay when you are setting include fields 
and you are including field download access token at the bottom you can see you have a download access token okay now so first now once remove this token parameter and we need to call without that request and you can see you do not have any download access token now just append that and you can see here you have a download access token okay so either you can save this download access token as an access token parameter right then okay and this download access token by default have a 30 minutes expiry time so you and you append and and you say ttl and you need to pass the max which is a seven days you say the time in a second hit enter we have a something oh we have an invalid parameter hit enter ttl hit enter and now just copy the token you get big you just paste it and hover on expiry time and you can see here is time x uh, this token will be expired on 26 december that means currently is a 19 and 19 to 26 will be a seven days okay so you can also extend the expiry of that ex download access token okay and you can append the download access token to the download url as access token and then you will be able to download the file from the zoom clouds Okay, I'm hopeful that you have enjoyed this session. If you have any query regarding this session, then just please place your queries inside the video comment section. Either you can share your queries and suggestions so I may share contact details. Hopefully, we will come back with another session. Take care. Bye-bye.